Okay. Um, it's the pre-plucked hairline was really, really good. I don't lay baby hairs. So I feel like we've discussed this a lot. I don't like baby hairs. I don't like the way baby hairs look. I think they look weird and crazy on a lot of people. But you know, if you like them, hey everyone, it's your boy Sonic798, and I'm back to do another video. This one is going to be a hair review. If you want to find a review on this wig that I've been wearing for a couple of months now, stay tuned and I'll tell you everything you need to know. This is my, I'm looking at my details, I had to make sure I got everything correct. This is my Ross Lover High Density Blonde Ombre, I don't know what they were calling it, Ombre Lace Human, front, human Hair Lace Front, Lace Closure Wig Girl. Um, this hair came pre-colored like this. It's like this, um, dark blonde, like, a, it's like a 27 and a 4. And I feel like the only reason I know it's a 27 and a 4 is because when I bought the, so I bought an extra pack of hair to put in the wig, it was a 427 piano blend. And, like, you can't tell there's an extra pack of hair in there, so it tells me that it's a 4 and a 27. Um, I got this hair off of AliExpress where I get all my wigs. I ordered this hair on the ten, on the 2nd of October in 2020, and I received it on the 13th of October in 2020. Okay, okay, so it took 10 days to get here. Mind you, I did order it in a large cap size. Their standard cap size is a medium. I knew going into the new year to get my wigs to look the way I want them to look, look more customizable, a little bit more natural. I got them in a large cap size because I do have a lot of hair and I also have a big head, okay? Got it in the color that was pictured, which I'm guessing was like a 427 ombre balayage, like piano mix. Closed lace closure wig, you can get this in a T-part wig, which is that one where it's like the middle part and then the lace only in the front, but the only part that's deep is the middle part. Uh, 13 by four lace frontal wig or a four by four closure wig. I have a four by four closure, meaning that my edges are exposed, girl. This wig is installed on a wig grip band gluelessly. There is, there were three combs. I took out the two on the side and I left the one in the back there. I used to, I would sew this wig down. I don't sew it down anymore. It is just on glueless and it has adjustable straps in the back of the neck. Um, this wig is a hundred is 26 inches long. It may not be, it looks longer when I don't curl it as tight. So it's 20, it's 26. Also this hair is layered 26 inches long, 180% density. Let's get into it. I, when I first got the wig, I felt like it was lacking a little Jenny thin quant. It was a little thin for me. Mind you, you know, if you've been on my channel for a while, I am a four, five, six bundle wearer. I wear, I wear bundles, honey. I like, I don't care if it's 20 inch. It needs to be 20 inch and sit out to here. I've more so gotten into more natural fullnesses of wigs as of recently. But this wig was still a little, a, 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 a little too skinny for even me. So I bought a bundle of hair on Amazon. I will not say the Amazon seller who sold the hair because this hair is, the hair I added into, the wig itself is good. The hair I added into the wig is garbage. And I got that from Amazon. It was a 427 blend. If you type in 427 Remy blend, whatever the first thing to come up that like it, that's there, like that's probably what it is. I put it in the hair sheds. It, I also cut the tracks because it's a, it's a, it's a pre-made wig. So I like cut the tracks to put the wig, the hair in and I doubled it. I, f I only ordered one bundle because I knew I only needed one bundle to make this wig full. I added that one bundle and I forgot that most Remy hair is double drawn, which means that it's way thicker than single drawn virgin hair. I shoved that entire bundle of hair in this wig and this wig was, she was dummy thick, girl. She was thick. However, because the hair has, the, um, the bundle hair has shedded, the wig has thinned out significantly over time and I'm still getting like shedding and stuff from the bundle hair. Let me be very, 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 very specific. Only the bundle hair that I added into this wig is shedding. The actual wig itself is fine, it's intact, you know, she's good, she's fair. You know, when I do wash the hair, you know it sheds, the regular wig sheds a little bit, but the real hair that's shedding is the bundle hair that I added into hair and that was my fault. I cannot fault the company for that. The wig itself, the wig quality itself is fine. Um, like I said, this is a four by four closure wig. I usually wore on a, on a side part. This is like a, it's a middle off center because like I thought it was a middle part and I quaintly uh, did not realize that it is not a middle part. It's a middle part. 
it's a, a crooked off center part, so like the middle part, especially based off the closure, is supposed to be like here. And I have like a, a, a off center part, so there's that. These curls I did with my, my Inglam um, Airflow flat iron. I wanted the curling iron that came, the, the one that Kaylee Melissa was talking about before that was um, from Conair. And funny enough, um, Kaylee Melissa actually just reviewed this one and she liked this one better than the Conair one. So I, I won, I won the game girl and it was cheaper. So anyway, um, I like that one. It's very, it's very good. It has a cool section button. Like as you can see, like these curls I put in, they're staying, they're up. I'm not fighting with them. I finally got the maneuver on how to curl my hair with that thing. Cause it's, it's like a flat iron, but it also has like a curling iron clip and you just have to take your hair very smoothly through it. The hair holds a curl, it's beautiful. It is so full, so lush, like now. What I would say do is that like, I don't think Rose Lover sells bundles in this, in this um, fashion. So, you know, do what you want, if what you have to do what you want, what you want with your money. I would say, you know, if you blow dry it a little bit with like a, maybe a thickening spray or like upside down and just curl it real tight and finger it out, you will be fine. Also, I like my hair dummy thick. I would get the 180% density just to be safe because if it was too thin, for me, it's probably best for you. You know, um, parting taste is good. You know, not too many fly with curl retention. The color is beautiful. I will say like, I have been getting some wigs from these uh, companies that are pre-color. I've been really into my season of colorful hair, of like, I've been doing different colors. I've been doing ombres, you know, balayages, you know, she's Beyonce on her weekend. You know, these colors of hair. And I had, I remember I got the ombre, and I got the ombre frontal wigs. I got, the root drops were terrible. And the thing I like about this mainly is because like the roots aren't jet black. They're like a number four into this. And whoever did these highlights needs to get paid more because these highlights are so pretty. Mind you, we're talking like in the closure, like because none of my tracks are higher than here. So everything on the top is the actual color of the wig. The color job itself and adding the bundles just made it a little bit more dimensional. But like, like this, these money pieces are so well done. The wig wasn't dry. Um, I did layer it, so I did cut off. Like, there were some split ends, because, you know, anytime you bleach hair, it's going to be split ends, you know, a little bit a little bit of something, something, so you're going to trim it afterwards. But, like, the dye job on this is probably one of the better dye jobs I've seen in a wig. Now, mind you, when you look inside, it can be a little stripey, but, like, if you're into, like, the look of, like, early 2000s, like, highlighted hair, this is, like, the thing. It's a really pretty, like... Dye job, you can't tell me. You can't tell me that all my friends back home don't tell me I look like Beyonce. You just can't. And it's so pretty. Um, you know, it styles easily. I don't know what else to say. Like, after I layered it, because I do a very basic, like, long layer. If you want a tutorial on it, please thumbs up this video. I will, I will gladly do how I long layer every single way. I layer every wig I have the same way. And I've also tagged it because Makiba from Why Not Keebs um, has um, has a tutorial on how to do long layers. Where like she, well, I did a mixture of hers where she does like the the, pan, the front panels to get like the original like curtain bang look. And then I also use um, Samantha Vey, her technique because she's actually she's both of them are like cosmetologists. But she like showed you how to do long layers very simply where she takes it and connects all the layers to the back. So everything flows together properly and it looks so pretty and that's how I like do my layers now So I don't have to like fight with those things But um, yeah, if you're into those <laughs> Tell me, you know, I love it The lace is though. This is the lace. It's a little dark because I do have on makeup right now But you know the lace is fine, you know, I can Push it back and not feel too exposed by my lace like my wig grip band shifted back, so like that's why. Um, it's the pre-plucked hairline was really, really good. I don't lay baby hairs. We've already, I feel like we've discussed this a lot. I don't like baby hairs. I don't like the way baby hairs look. I think they look weird and crazy on a lot of people. But you know, if you like them, they did come with baby hairs. I, I think I like plucked, I brushed them into like the hairline and I may have plucked them out. I'm not too sure. I think, I don't know what I did. Or like I swooped them back into the hairline and laid everything back because I don't like baby hairs. But the transition, it is pre-plucked. It's not a dense hairline. I love it. 
you know, in the melt when I when I lay with some got to be glued spray. You can't tell me. Can't tell me I'm not Beyonce. You just can't, babe. You can't tell me I'm not Beyonce. Um, yeah, but that's about it. I give this wig a thumbs up. You know, uh, the wig itself, I give it a thumbs up. Like I said, the bundles I add into them are garbage. But uh, the wig, the wig itself, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, bitch. Um, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Subscribe. Join the family. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, you can follow me on my Twitter. At Sonic7989. Oh, Sonic79894. And on my Instagram, you can follow me at Sonic798. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you. Um, I'll see you guys around. Until next time. Peace.